Hey guys, it's Grace. I'm here at the farmhouse wrapping up a long exhausting weekend. Um, I finally finished phase one of dismantling that chimney from just above the ceiling all the way to above the roof. Um, that was a bear of a project so I'm glad that's done. Also did a ton of land cleanup. Um, you might have heard me mention before that the previous tenants of this house as well as a double wide trailer that was on a adjacent lot um, kind of treated this land as their own personal landfill. It's pretty aggravating um, finding so much trash just all over the place but um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get all of it but I spent a good 10-12 hours cleaning up more trash and really just preparing for the renovations to come. The next eight weeks the bulk of the renovations are just going to be zipping right by. So coming into this project, I pretty much had my mind set on going with a nice dark charcoal. I love the look of a clean dark charcoal exterior, contrast with that white pop, um, with white trim. Um, I just love how clean and crisp that looks. So I was pretty dead set on that. And then when I kind of started looking around, I was feeling a little more adventurous. So I started toying with the idea of going with like a teal blue. Um, I think blue is kind of boring on its own, but if you make it a little bit bolder with a teal, I think you could make that pretty adventurous. I feel like the safe bet is to go with the dark charcoal, but I don't want to be boring for this little farmhouse. Um, this is not going to be our forever house. We'll probably live in it for at least five to eight years, maybe more if we keep adding on to it. And then on the adjacent lot that we bought, we're gonna build our dream house, but that's so far down the line. So with this one, I feel like I could be a little bit more adventurous. I just don't know if I'm that bold. I'm just a sucker for a nice deep teal. Um, when I first moved to California and I saw the Pacific Ocean for the first time, um, just it's breathtaking. And where you see that dark blue, where it, meets the green and it just kind of has this deep teal. I just fell in love with that color. And I want to say on one of our first dates with my husband, um, he drove me up Pacific Coast Highway and it was just an amazing trip. And I was telling him about how I had fallen in love with that color and he um, came up with this really elaborate plan. A couple of months into us dating, just custom designing my um, engagement ring. <laughs> and it's just a funny story about how he came to find that perfect color of teal. Um, so I don't know, I'm still on the fence. I have some time, but I do need to pick the color of the metal roof. So it's going to be critical that I settle on an exterior paint color so I can pick the roof color just to make sure. I think if I go teal, it's still gonna be that nice pop contrast of white with all of the trim, the doors. Um, it will still be very clean. It's just really adventurous. And I know the dark charcoal is just a nice, safe, modern bet, but I feel like it's a little bit boring. You might have seen a poll that I posted earlier guessing which of the two colors I went with. I thought I had decided, but here I am. I'm going to do one final color sampling test where I'm going to actually prime a big section of this deteriorating siding before we tear it off. I've got three shades of teal, two shades of dark charcoal, um, and then I can really decide. Um, it is 6.45 p.m. I'm gonna try to do this really quick while I still have some sunlight and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, here are our five contenders. From left to right, we have Mermaid's Tail, Barrier Reef, Adriatic Azure, on the grays we have Raven Wing, and No Limits. Um, these are all Sherman Williams colors. They are different than the two paint swatches I had the other day, but um, these days I'm buying most of my supplies at Lowe's in bulk. Um, if you didn't know, Lowe's has this incredible QSP program for pros. If you make purchases, I think over $1,200 or $1,500, you can run it through a 
little algorithm so you get a discount. So I'm getting tons of discounts these days. So it looks like Sherwin-Williams is going to be the paint that I go with because it is carried at Lowe's and I was happy with these swatches. Um, I want to say Mermaid's Tail just on straight visual compared to the picture of the blue house that was my inspiration is probably the closest. It's also the most muted and boring of the three teals. Um, and then Adriatic Azure is a little out there, but uh, I may try it. So we're gonna go with these five. I'll go back to the time lapse and then I will make a choice. The sun has gone down. The primer took a little bit longer to dry than I thought it would. It's so hot out, I thought it would dry quicker. Um, first thoughts, definitely way too bold. I love the color, but not for an exterior of a house. This is probably closest to what I was originally looking for um, in the house that I was inspired by. This is still a little bold. Possible, possible for one of these two. Um, in terms of the gray, I feel like this one's a little bit too light. This one is pretty dark, but I do like it. So of the two, I'm leaning towards the dark. I'm going to let these dry, come back tomorrow when there's some sunlight, and let's see. Mm -hmm. 